Hi and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union. We're here at the Union's conference in Blackpool where Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn has just addressed the conference. Jeremy, welcome to the conference. You. Now Jeremy, you've been a long-term supporter of the Fire Brigade Union. Indeed, as an MP, you're one of the founding members of our parliamentary support group. What was your message to delegates and indeed what was your message to the firefighters who will be watching this now? First of all, thanks for all you do. Thanks for all the lives you saved in the floods. Thanks for all the lives you save in fires and thank you for making this country a lot safer. My message is also that cuts in the fire service are very dangerous for all of us and for obviously for the members and indeed there has been a disturbing increase in response times because of the cuts that have, have happened. My second message is that as a union, as a party, we've got to be united on economic policy of opposition to austerity and what I described as the rolling back of the state, which is fundamental to what the austerity process is all about. And uh, also discussing rights at work, but above all the contribution that all members of the union and all members of the party can make towards de developing our policies for the future. And uh, I found it wonderful to be there, to be able to give my thanks personally to firefighters, but also to ensure that the flooding issue is dealt with by proper funding of the fire service and that it becomes a statutory obligation for the fire and rescue service to deal with flooding. Yes, Jeremy, well, since 2000, 2010, the story for the fire service under the David Cameron governments has been one of massive cuts, um, fire stations closed, appliances getting moved, and of course, thousands of firefighters' jobs being lost. Mm. Now, your Labour leader, if you do become Prime Minister, you form a, gov a government, what would you do to build our service? I want to rebuild the service, ensure it is properly funded, has a statutory requirement in dealing with flooding, and that we have the appropriate number of fire stations around the country. Because what alarmed me, particularly in Cumbria, was that all of those fire stations were working flat out during the floods. And I was there in Cockermouth and Carlisle and other places. They were working flat out, knowing full well their station was about to be closed. And the same applied in other places. And the point I made to conference was that it was a wonderful effort that was put in in Yorkshire and Lancashire and Cumbria to try and deal with the floods. Had there been also dramatic floods in, say, Somerset and the Thames Valley, which is possible because they often do get flooded, could the fire service have coped? I think your members know the answer as well as I do. Now, Jerry, one last question. As firefighters, as FBU members, we always constantly campaign against cuts. We go to the streets when cuts are proposed in the service. And although we get overwhelming public support, there are always people who say, well, hang on, what about the deficit? What about the budgets? You have to take cuts. What would be your message to them? Is there an alternative? <clears throat> the alternative is simply this that the austerity we're going through is a political choice, not an economic necessity. We have to invest in an expanding economy. You're not going to cut the way to prosperity. We invest our way to prosperity. So we set it over a longer time frame in order to invest in infrastructure and promotion of manufacturing industry and defence, for example, of the steel industry in order to do that. That provides the better tax income, which can, of course, fund the public services. Public services are not a drain on the economy. They're essential and integral part of our economy. Economy. Thanks, Jeremy. Some strong and positive words there from the Labour leader. Well, for further updates, don't forget to go to our website. That's www.fbu.org.uk. We've also got a Facebook site, the Fire Brigade Union, and of course our Twitter account, at FBU National. But until next time, thanks very much, Jeremy. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thanks.